Okay, it looks like we are live. Um, welcome all who are watching. My name is Sarah Cazell with the W.TV, and I am joined by two lovely ladies today, Riley Basin from Pepperdine and Paige Hunt Barker from BYU. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Uh, both of them are preparing for the women's soccer postseason. Congratulations to both of you and your teams for making it to the NCAA tournament, which I should note, if you make it far enough to get to the College Cup, that will be in San Jose, California, hosted by the West Coast Conference. Uh, so we certainly would like to see both of you guys there. All right. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds good, right? Good deal, let's do that. So uh, again, congratulations to both of you um, and your teams for making it into the postseason and also for being WCC co-champions. We, uh, we can't leave that off the table. Thank you. First question, uh, both of your teams are hosting. So there's a lot of talk, as you guys know, in sports and sports media about how tough it is to win on the road versus home. And I'm just curious, in this scenario, um, when you're coming into the postseason but you're hosting your first match, does it, does it really make a difference? Does it really help um, staying in your own routine and, and being in your own familiar surroundings? And Riley will go to you first. Yeah, I mean, I think it's been a ton of fun training at our home field and just knowing that we have one last for sure home game. I mean, for me as a senior, it's it's kind of a big deal. And I think playing at home, like just protecting our house has always been something that we take really seriously. So yeah, I think it makes a huge difference. How about you, Paige? Yeah, I would, I'd have to agree. There's something special about and playing in front of your family and friends and BYU is fortunate enough to have one of the biggest fan bases in the country, so the air is electric and playing under the lights on Southfield is something I'll never forget. And it is sad I'm a senior as well. One more home game, we're both gonna have to soak it up. And remember, so fun I'm playing. So it's definitely a home field advantage, I'd have to say, when you play at home. That's great. Okay, so Riley, I have a question for you. Obviously, you're on the offensive side of things, being the offensive leader for the Waves. Uh, but I want to talk about the Pepperdine defense real quick. What does it mean to you to have the WCC Goalkeeper of the Year in Hannah Siebert in net? Does that take any pressure off of you while you're trying to make things happen on the offensive side of the ball, just knowing that she's got it on lockdown, like you don't have to worry about what the other team is producing? Yeah, I mean, it gives me a chills when you say that she's like behind us because her and our whole back line have done an amazing job this whole year. And I played in the back actually last year and just her voice and leadership back there and just the the back line in general. It's so nice having that and being like, I have the freedom to go forward and do my job up top. So it's it's really rewarding. And Paige, you were on the 2012, you mentioned earlier, you were on the 2012 um, Elite Eight team that BYU uh, went to. What similarities or differences do you see between the 2012 team and this year's team that uh, makes you think that this team is special and, and has a chance at a, a deep run? Similarities, I think there was a lot of talent. Um, in 2012, there were some girls that were just amazing. And so I think talent-wise, very similar to this team and to this team. But I think one difference is the doing the extra work. There's a lot of girls that go out on their own and take extra shots. And just getting that little bit of an edge maybe over the competitors that maybe wasn't there in 2012. And also the social aspect. This team is the close knit, like your best friends are on this team. And I'm sure it is at, at Pepperdine as well, but there's just something different about this team this year where everyone is so close and there's no jealousy of who gets playing time and oh, like she scored, like I want to score. It's just, you're all one team, which is really cool. That must be uh, very significant for you guys, especially since you do have so many offensive stars, so many talented women who um, are not only, you know, the best on the BYU squad, but like the best in the WCC. So that is a lot of um, goals and, and big plays to split among so many players on your team. Having Ashley Hatch and Michelle Murphy, Vasconcelos and Nadia Gomes, that attack is just amazing. But they're all such selfish players as well. Like they'll do what's best for the team. They won't take the shot because they want the pride of scoring. They'll pass it off if they need to, or they'll shoot if they know they can score. So it's really cool to watch and be a part of. 
Right. All right. Well, the NCAA selection show was on Monday, so it's now Thursday. You guys have had a couple days to watch some film, you know, learn some tendencies, see what you've got coming in your first round opponents. And I'm just curious if you guys are willing to share some things that you've noticed and, and what you plan to exploit um, with your upcoming matches. And Riley, we'll start with you. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a, I'm the only one left from the freshman class because I'm a fifth year and we actually played Cal in our first round my freshman year. So this is a little payback for us. And um, <laughs> I'm just excited, like we, everyone's on the same page and we obviously do not want to lose on our home field and we have big dreams on this team and we were young last year and I think it it's it's awesome young talent and now everyone is clicking and I think we're playing our best soccer at the best time of the year so we're just excited to be the better team on Saturday we want it to be here already so mm -hmm. and what yeah. about for you Paige and BYU I think something that we've been talking about lately um, is this theme. We say today matters. And so we're focusing on what we can do today to prepare for our game tomorrow and not getting so caught up in, okay, what are we going to do to get to the Final Four? It's, okay, what are we going to do today so that we can play well against UNLV tomorrow? And we're not going to underestimate them. I think it would be easy to go ahead and be like, okay, when are we going to play like Stanford or some of the other teams? But UNLV is a great team, and they're going to come at us, and they're going to be aggressive, and so you can't – anyone in the NCAA tournament. So I think we're just taking it day by day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed when I was, you know, looking up your opponents, I think they have very similar to records to you. They both have 16 wins, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think so. Yeah, they've had found a lot of success this past season. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, a lot to look forward to. If you guys want to pay attention, which obviously you do, fans, BYU hosts UNLV Friday. That's at 6 Pacific, 7 o'clock Mountain. And then Saturday is when Pepperdine hosts Cal at 1 o'clock Pacific. Ladies, best of luck to both of you individually and to your teams. Is there anything else you would like to add before, uh, before we let you go? No, good luck, Paige, and to your guys' team. It's pretty awesome. We have some WCC teams in the tournament. I know. Thanks. You guys are awesome. Good luck. You too. You guys. <laughs> That's so sweet. And it should also be noted, Santa Clara couldn't make it to this hangout, but we will have uh, Santa Clara's Kelly P later on today. Um, love that WCC love, though. <laughs> you got to keep the love going, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Hashtag represent. All right, ladies. Good luck with the rest of your preparations. Good luck at your matches. Um, hopefully getting to talk to you guys later on as you move through the postseason. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right. Bye. Bye.